if we're creating our reality, then why do we need to pray at all? Why pray? If my thoughts, feelings, and actions, and so on are creating my reality, why do I even need to pray? I believe we need to pray because we get out of touch with the truth, with the source. We get caught up in erroneous beliefs and false beliefs. We get dragged down into our muck, and we've got to pray to remind ourselves of the truth. The Sanskrit word for prayer is palal, to behold oneself as wondrously made. When we get caught up in the news, when we get caught up in stuff at work, when we get caught up in things in our relationships, when we start to feel a sense of meaninglessness and, or sadness or uh, weakness, well, it's when it's time to pray. Let me remember the truth. Let me get back in tune with what I believe to be true and know to be true. It helps us to get back on track. It isn't trying to get Santa Claus in the sky to do something for us. And that's what a lot of prayer for people is a last resort thing, you know. Uh, I've tried everything else, let me pray. Let me negotiate with God, you know. If, if you help me, God, I will contribute to your favorite charities. You know, I'll go to church more. I'll, whatever the bargain is. That's bargaining, that's not prayer. You know, prayer can be bargaining, it can be pleading, it can be begging, it can be praising. God, you are so fantastic, you are wonderful, you're the best, you're A number one. Now let me tell you what I need, what I want. Now that I've pumped you up a little bit. Uh, that's, that's, that's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. We are creating our reality. Prayer helps us to reconnect with the truth of who we are.